Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today, we're going to be looking at my instigating Deathclaw gauntlet. Right now, since we're in bloodied threshold, it's doing about 494 damage without Nerd Rage, which we're not going to have that equipped for today. And yeah, so let's go ahead and look at some of the perks that we've got on this thing. Right now, we've got Martial Artist, Barbarian, just so it can have extra damage resistance, Incisor, Blocker, Iron Fist. Uh, glow Sight just to deal more damage against glowing enemies. Ironclad just for extra damage resistance. And of course, oh yeah, I forgot to put on Ninja, which is going to be one of our main things here. As well as Bloody Mess, so let's go ahead and see what some of these ghouls can take. Okay, so our game is just a little bit glitching out here. That's alright, we're going to go ahead and get into some of these ghouls over here. Why did not. That could have been bad. There's sleepers also. 2234, not that bad. Oh, well, there are sleepers, and it's hard to hit them, so yeah. And so I honestly thought Bethesda had patched that glitch where we'd have sleepers etc but I guess not that's one of the most annoying things about this game is just I mean we're able to hit them most of the time sometimes we can't um I guess I'll take the caps as we can see this thing is doing a decent amount of damage against these ghouls as long as they aren't freaking sleepers, we should be okay. And there's our loot right there. We we'll actually should probably take that. After we kill these things, of course. It's not the... Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me take a right away in the stem pack real quick. Honestly, it's not the melee damage I'm scared about, it's the radiation. So just keep these things off of us for a while. And we can hear that one digger down there. Let's go ahead and grab our loot real fast. And let me take it, there you go. Get off you sleeper. Alright. So. So let's just make sure these things stay off of us. Alright, so we should be okay for now. No legendaries right now, so... Yeah. Alright, well we got most of these other things now. Let's go ahead and see how much damage we can do to the glowing Wendigo. As we do got glow sight on. 7700 damage, now that's actually pretty good, considering, especially if glow sight on, yeah, I'm pretty sure everything else in here is dead, so let's go see what we can do, some muties. Okay, so we're going to pop the stem pack real quick and make our way over towards the super mutants here, and they are high leveled, so let's see what we can do against these things. No, I didn't think we'd do bad against these things. That's gonna be an issue right there. Kill you. So these glowing meat and hounds should be no problem whatsoever. Six and five. Take that just because we saw a legendary script machine. I don't know what you're shooting at. And I don't know what happened to that. We're just gonna stay caught. 
Oh. Now we're in danger. But, but that won't matter. Seems like a one shot everything that we come up to. That's a problem because that thing just killed us, but it's whatever. So, if you're not running fireproof with this thing, or really fireproof against enemies that you know are gonna have like explosive weapons on them, then, or even like especially in PvP, then you're kind of screwed there. Five, five, six rounds for the bloodied assault rifle. But yeah, you just don't want to freaking run without fireproof. Honestly, our tankiness sort of with Barbarian is making us a bit better. Also with our armor, which is about to break. But overall, we're doing pretty good against these things. And Scorchers have no problem. Alright, so they're all dead. Um, let's go ahead and grab these caps and 556 five, rounds. Ah, you die! I kill you so I don't die to you. And so, yeah, we'll just teleport through the thing all the way to them. And yeah, they're dead, so let's go inside and see what we can do. Alright, so we're inside West Tech and we're gonna be fighting some of these super mutants in here. They should be no problem for us. As long as we don't get freaking melted, but. That's always a possible occurrence. And yes, Speedwick is back, and that's what I've been grinding for. Trying to get the pepper tenderizer, but that's alright. It would be a nice weapon to do, like a little review on the If I managed to get it. 3,000 damage of this thing is not that bad. But the instigating plus ninja. Uh. Let's see what happens to my power attack. 5,700 damage. 5,798, I think that's it, or it might have been 68. I don't know. But. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for an uh, instigating one star duck plug gauntlet. Without power attack, damn, did not mean to pick that up. Let me just drop that before he walks right over us. And yes, I know I got the life saving combat armor arm. I literally just picked that up not that long ago. Um, 45 rounds. And yeah, I guess the max we can do with adrenaline plus glow sight on glowing things is 7730 is what we've seen with the Wendigo. And the head. And it looks like... But I wish that Behemoth over at... Uh... Swan Lakes. Or Swan. I guess it's called the Swan. Um... I wish he was a level 95 glowing one because I kind of want to see how much I could possibly do with that with this freaking instigating duck claw gauntlet. And we did one shot the level 51 with the sledgehammer. If you want to go check out that video, uh, but I just kind of wish he was a. I might go freaking complain about that on Reddit or something, but uh, yeah, so. Ammo real quick. And yes, we still got more of these things to kill. Like right here, for example. Sneaky. Zero. Alright, I think that's bugged. I, I honestly really think that's bugged because. Ooh. Well. Um. I don't know if that sh I should keep that or I mean we m we might just keep it around and maybe put it in our vending machine and see if someone buys it. But the problem is that all right. Well, if 
that was explosive, then we would have had a heyday with that, but no, it's whatever. Alright, that was kind of stupid. It, it should have been a, at least a fire rate or a explosive one. I would have been happy if it was both, because. <clears throat> I mean, the drum mag would have a mag capacity of 100, so. That's kind of like. If you had the explosive one, that's basically spraying prey with that. Imagine a quad submachine gun in this game. I don't know if those exist, but they might. With the fire rate, with the fire rate effect on it. Or the explosive effect, even if the fire rate under attack. Or when I was talking about how I might die, this is why. Give me that unyielding armor. Well. That's an unyielding piece that we can keep as like a backup or something. But. but anyhow, most of these things are dead. Alright, well, we're just tanking through these guys right now. And. We honestly wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for that psycho buff I took. Still something else over here. Something. Jesus. Alright, this well this is uh getting really hectic. Where alright, well he main aid me sort of. Okay, well we're gonna go kill you. Um I guess we'll just go ahead and I don't know what we can I guess we'll just eat that. Well, we managed to kill everything here. And I guess well I'm gonna go sell some things to the legendary script and we're gonna go kill some things that Sunrise Field. Alright guys, so we're at Sunrise Field after selling some stuff to the legendary exchange machine. And there's already a legendary mile exchange machine. Oh, if only that was leveled. That's a near perfect. That looks like that's gonna be either going into the legendary. So the problem with armored things I actually just want to immediately kill you Let's just go ahead and kill the Myolix before we get into the cave Alright so let's go ahead or actually not this, but the not the meat cleaver, but my plasma grenades. Yeah, uh, yes, I've already talked about how. Oh, uh, she's a disease one too. She'll give me the blight and one shot her. Get her out of here, and we don't have to worry about her anymore. Well, all right. Well, what would be the whole point of testing something out instigating if we didn't test it out, an old Swanee boy? As you can see, he's still level 50. I don't know why he's not like level 95 or something. Just I wanted to test this thing's like maximum damage output against something. But I mean, we're gonna one shot him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, and now I'm over encumbered, but, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I actually might sell this thing. I guess it's worth probably about 2,000 caps. I did see one guy who was selling a one that did 40% more power attack damage and taking 40% less damage while power attacking. 
at his camp for about 9,500 caps. I don't think it's worth that much, but the one star variety, it's pretty good. I mean, 443 damage plus sneaking and instigating. I mean, and the Furious Super Sledge, I just, I just wish it was leveled. Like that was, I wish in this game that you didn't have to be a level to use certain weapons, like in Fallout 4, Fallout 3, etc. I just wish that this weapon just dealt the maximum damage output based on your strength, perks, or whatever. And a lot of other people think that, a lot of people say it's to keep the game balanced, and I understand that, but, you know, it's kind of annoying when it gets something good like this, and it's, like, level 40. Or maybe they should have the purveyor the where you'd be able to get like some like a hundred legendary script or something to where you'd be able to like level up your weapon like ten levels so I can make this thing level fifty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next Fallout 4 video.